Hello, ladies and gentlemen, your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and the news does not stop. Smash the ever living boo boo stain off that subscribe button, swing climb even further beyond the 1K ladder. We are so close to 1100. We got some Duelist Nexus news, and I gotta say, this pack right here is looking super fresh. I, I definitely like how it looks. So when the gathering stars become one, a new bond will illuminate the future. Become the path its light shines upon. Limit over Excel Synchro. And you read the title right, ladies and gentlemen. The Crimson Dragon is finally a card. So let's just dive on into this new Synchro support? Question mark. So we got Wheel Synchron. It's a level 5 light machine tuner effect monster, 800 attack and 1,000 defense. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you use this card on the field as a Synchro material, you can treat it as a non-tuner. That's actually pretty good. During your main phase, you cannot special summon from the extract for the rest of this turn except Synchro Monsters. That's fine. We don't give a shit. Also, immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one level 4 lower monster. That's pretty good. You can banish this card from your graveyard target one Synchro Monster. You control decrease its level by up to 4. So this can help if like you're trying to synchro climb into like a quasar dragon or something like that Then we got revolution synchron aka power tool jr Level 3 Earth Machine Tuner Effect Monster 900 Attack 1400 Defense. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn, and you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per duel. They wanted to make sure you couldn't abuse this shit. So if you Synchro Summon a Power Tool Synchro Monster, which you probably never will, or a Level 7 or 8 Dragon Synchro Monster, this card in your hand can be used as material. That is disgusting. If this card is in your graveyard and you control a Level 7 or higher Synchro Monster, excuse me, you can send the top card of your deck to the grave. And if you do special summon this card, and if you do that, its level becomes one. Again, level modulation to help you climb into the big bad boy Chungus Mr. Steal Yo Girl Cosmic Quasar Dragon. So we have Cosmic Blazar Dragon, Shooting Quasar Dragon. Now we have Cosmic Quasar Dragon. Bruh. Level 2, or level 12, level 2, Jesus. Level 12, Light Dragon, Synchro Effect Monster, 4,000 attack and defense, because why the fuck not? One Tuner Synchro Monster, plus two or more non-Tuner Synchro Monsters. Must first be special summoned with the above Synchro Materials. Once per turn, you can target face-up cards on the field, up to the number of monsters used as Synchro Material for this card, plus one, negate their effects. Jesus, this, this effect and its activation cannot be negated. Yo shit is getting negated, ladies and gentlemen. Quick effect, you can banish this Synchro Summon card. Special Summon 1, Dragon Synchro Monster that lists two or more non-tuner Synchro Monsters as a material from your extra deck. This treat is a Synchro Summon. This can literally fetch like whatever the fuck you want. Like this card's, this card's good. The better question is, what card are you going to go into? Are you going to go into Cosmic Blazar, Cosmic Quasar, or Shooting Quasar? I think that that's going to be a bit of a debate amongst the maybe five people that will play this card. All jokes aside, like it is cool. It just... I wish it was competitive, but this might get them there. The Crimson Dragon is finally a card. They're just several years late. Level 12 Light Dragon Synchro Effect Monster. Zero attack and defense requires one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can add one spell or trap that mentions the Crimson Dragon from your deck to your hand. Quick effect, you can target one level 7 or higher Synchro Monster on the field except the Crimson Dragon. Return this card to the extra deck, and if you do special summon one Dragon Synchro Monster with the same level from your extra deck, this is treated as a Synchro Summon. Basically, it can just evolve into, like, basically, what, any of the Signer Dragons? This card seems really good. There was also a, um, I guess not an errata, but I guess, like, a ruling change or something on Ultimaya Tzolkin, which is, like, the other Crimson Dragon Synchro, where, um, basically, the errata was, like, you can't target... Uh, Ultimate to Zulkin or Crimson Dragon, one of the two, to, like, abuse the effect. See, because it says you can target one level 7 or higher Synchro Monster on the field. So, uh, from what I understand, basically, Konami rewarded Ultimate to Zulkin to where you can't just use the Crimson Dragon to send back the fucking to Zulkin to get out of Synchro. Like, that That would be disgusting. So, yeah, no, they, they patched that hole real quick. This is Synchro Overtop, normal spell. You gotta love the artwork. You got black wing dragon you got ancient fairy ray to tap that ass you got red dragon arch fiend like this you got black rose in the background like this is the squad this is the og squad from edison format ladies and gentlemen if you didn't play these cards people questioned what you were doing unless it was uh dark wing or black wing dragon you didn't really need that crap card <laughs> uh normal spell you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn target any number of level seven and or eight dragon synchro monsters in your graveyard special summon them in defense mode but their levels become one their effects are negated also you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except synchro monsters so what you mean to tell me is that synchro dot deck has a fucking soul charge this is insane like straight up think about it 
you you can like just dump cards out of your extra deck with the uh the lightning monarch or whatever the fuck and then you just target any number drop them out they all become level one and you just make a big old quasar dreading dragon ready to tap that ass when your synchro monsters destroyed by battle uh, that probably will never happen you can banish this card from your graveyard special summon one the crimson dragon from your extra deck they couldn't save by battle or by card effect really anyway then we have synchro world which is basically just speed world but you know a uh, different name, but it's still a field spell. Each time a monster monsters a synchro summon, place two signal counters on this card. You can remove four, seven, or ten signal counters from your field to activate one of these effects. Four, increase or decrease the level one face up monster you control by one. Seven, special summon one tuner from your grave. Ten, special summon one secret monster from your grave. If this card in its control is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can special summon one the crimson dragon from your extra deck. That seems pretty good. Then we have Scrap Iron Idol. <laughs> Scrap Iron Scarecrow. See that? Normal Trap. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Target one of your level 7 or 8 Dragon Synchro Monsters that is banished or in your grave. Special Summon it, but return it to the extra deck during the end phase. Doesn't matter if you're just going to Synchro with it. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the grave. That's pretty good. If this set card in its owner's control is destroyed by opponent's card effect, you can Special Summon a Crimson Dragon from your extra deck. So, what do I think of this support? So the issue with synchro, what I'm just going to call synchro.deck uh, right now is, number one, it loses to fucking Nibiru, ladies and gentlemen. I've seen replays where, like, uh, basically, like, the synchro.deck, if it pops off, can make, like, a Cosmic Blazar, a Shooting Quasar. Like, it can make all of these things, but the main issue is, like, Floodgates, right? Like, you could have three Shooting Quasars on the board... And, like, they can just get fucking Dark Rulered and then even lead or Lightning Storm and you just lose the ball game. So, I really don't know if this solves any of the issues. Now, what could happen is that Synchro Dot deck becomes, like, a going second deck because Cosmic Quasar seems really good in that regard. And, like, you can just play a bunch of board wipes and then you just pop off with Synchros and just drop a Dookie on the opponent. This actual Crimson Dragon monster seems really good. I'm interested to see how people will mess around with this. The Synchro Overtop is just, it's literally over the top, ladies and gentlemen. This card's disgusting. You cannot tell me that Synchros getting their own fucking Soul Charge cannot be good. Yeah, they all become level 1, their effects again. Who gives a shit when, like, you can have a tuner on the board ready to make the Cosmic Quasar? Like, this, if you think about it, if you plan this out correctly, this is basically a two-card Cosmic Quasar, right? Because, I mean, you drop out the Synchros, or even, like, one of them could be, like, a Synchro Tuner, now that I think about it. Uh, you adjust their levels, and then, like, you can summon another Tuner or, like, a non-Tuner, and then make the Cosmic Quasar. So, it's going to be interesting to see what people do with this. I'm no Synchro, like, explode, bust a nut on the board, like just a thousand plays in one turn and hope that you don't get Nibiru expert. So I'm interested to see what it is that people would do with this. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.